Welcome to Georgia Piedmont Technical College. My name is Kristen Corkill, and I'm the Director of High School Initiatives. And I have the great pleasure of working with our students and school partners in DeKalb, Newton, and Rockdale counties. We're so excited you're interested in the High School Dual Enrollment Program. This is a great opportunity for eligible students to get a jump start on their college and career experience. I have a lot of information to share, so if you're ready, let's get started. So what is dual enrollment? Dual enrollment is an opportunity to take college level courses that prepare you for a career or will transfer to a four year college or university. Eligible students are able to take classes in 10th through 12th grade and pay little to no cost. And the benefit of dual enrollment is you're earning both high school and college credit at the same time, which can shorten your time to graduating and earning a college degree, diploma, or certificate. In Georgia, we have regulations that define who is eligible to participate in dual enrollment. These eligibility requirements were put into place in summer 2020. So if you've taken classes previously, or if you have a sibling or friend who took classes in previous years, these rules may be different. Dual enrollment funding is capped at 30 funded hours. Students who are in 11th and 12th grade can take academic classes like English, math, science, and CTAE courses that align with the pathway, like computers, business, or welding. 10th grade students are eligible for CTAE courses only. Students cannot repeat courses due to not passing or withdrawing from class. Also, students who withdraw from two classes during their entire time in the dual enrollment program will no longer be eligible to receive funding. You do have to maintain a 2.0 college GPA and all of these rules apply to all colleges you've attended. So if you've taken DE classes at another college, those attempts will count towards your credits here at GPTC. Now all of these eligibility rules are for receiving dual enrollment funding. Students do have the option of paying for classes themselves. If you pay for a class yourself, it is up to the high school to determine if the class will count on your high school transcript. Before registering, please make sure you've had a meeting with your high school counselor to discuss your interest in the dual enrollment program and your class requests. I also encourage you to review the Georgia Futures website to see more detailed information on dual enrollment funding eligibility, to view your Georgia Future status, and to search the approved course directory. Now, what are the benefits of participating in dual enrollment? Well, the main benefit really is dual enrollment classes are saving time and money. Because students can take up to 30 credits without paying the cost of tuition or textbooks and most fees, you're able to save potentially thousands of dollars in college tuition by participating in dual enrollment. Studies also show that students who take dual enrollment classes are more likely to graduate from college in a shorter amount of time and with less debt. And with the convenience of taking a class at a GPTC campus through GPTC online, or for programs that are offering dual enrollment classes during the high school day, there are lots of opportunities to participate. Now you may be wondering, is dual enrollment real college? And the answer is yes. Dual enrollment is part of both your permanent high school and college transcripts. This can be a great help to you, but if you run into trouble or blow off classes, it can negatively impact you down the road. So even if you think the class is not an important one, make sure that if you participate in dual enrollment that you do your best because doing poorly in dual enrollment classes may impact future financial aid or acceptance to future colleges after high school. Now let's talk about dual enrollment through GPTC. GPTC is one of the oldest technical colleges in Georgia Covering a three county district of DeKalb, Newton, and Rockdale counties, we have a large and diverse student body that represents the community that we serve. Students who enroll at GPTC enroll in an open access institution, meaning that all students are accepted to our college, but placement scores will determine your course eligibility. Students also can take classes at a GPTC campus in DeKalb County, our South DeKalb campus, in Newton County, or our newest campus in Rockdale through GPTC Online 
And some high schools that we partner with are offering classes during the high school day, so students are able to take those classes without ever leaving their school campus. With agreements of all of the colleges in the Technical College System of Georgia, guaranteeing transfer of credits, a partnership with the University System of Georgia, guaranteeing transfer of 28 core academic classes, and additional agreements with other colleges and universities, both in-state and out-of-state, students can feel confident that their experience at GPTC will prepare them for the future. Our programs are organized within several schools that focus on both academic and career credentials. We have more than 40 programs of study and hundreds of classes to choose from, meaning that whatever your interest, we have a place for you here at GPTC. Many students who enroll decide to pursue an interdisciplinary studies track. This is to take general education courses. You may have an interest in a particular subject area, like criminal justice or business. Whatever your pathway is, there are different levels of coursework that are offered. A TCC, or a Technical Certificate of Credit, is specialized curriculum, and some TCCs can be completed in just one semester. These are designed to prepare you for a career. Diplomas are similar to TCCs in that they are specialized programs in specific career fields, but can take up to two years to complete. An associate degree is a program that can transfer into a four-year college or again prepare you for a great career. Whatever your program of study is will guide what classes you take while enrolled. So if you signed up to do computer programming, you're not going to be enrolled in a welding course. And like if you signed up for automotive, it wouldn't make sense for you to take cosmetology. Your programs of study help keep you on track towards your credential and towards your high school graduation progress. Students also have the option of pursuing option B to graduate from high school. This is an alternative high school graduation path. Students can take nine core academic classes and earn either an associate degree, a technical diploma, or two technical certificates in targeted pathways and complete high school that way. This is a great option for students who have a specific career field in mind and want a chance to get started on that right away. If this is something you're interested in, I encourage you to speak with your high school counselor for more information as permission to participate in the option B path is going to come from your school counselor. Let's talk about a, the application process for dual enrollment. There are four key parts to enroll in the dual enrollment program with GPTC. First is placement testing. Students can be exempt from placement testing if they have an unweighted GPA of a 2.5. If you have that, you do not need to do any placement testing. If your high school GPA is below a 2.5 or you're not sure what the GPA is, you can submit placement scores, either SAT, ACT, or PSAT. If your scores are beneath those re entrance requirements or if you've not taken one of those placement tests, you also have the option to take the AccuPlacer at GPTC at no cost. The AccuPlacer tests students in reading, writing, and math. Students do have to apply to GPTC and the dual enrollment program. To submit a an application, you will complete an online admissions application through the Georgia Piedmont website. There's also a new student packet that you will complete and submit to the dual enrollment office. This new student packet is permission for you to participate in dual enrollment. And so part of it will need to be completed with your parent or guardian. Make sure that you have those test scores or a copy of your high school transcript submitted with your application packet as well. The third step is the Georgia Futures funding application, and this is done at the Georgia Futures website. The funding application is how your classes are paid. If you and your parent or guardian do not complete the funding application, or make arrangements to pay for classes prior to the start of the semester, we're not able to enroll you in classes. Georgia Futures is also how your counselor gives permission for you to take classes. You may have a process with your high school that has some additional steps, but everyone in Georgia who participates in dual enrollment and receives funding 
and high school credit must complete a Georgia Futures funding application prior to the start of term and have the counselor approve the schedule. If you are a homeschool student, your parent or guardian will act as the counselor, and that's how your classes are approved. Once it comes time to register for classes, like I said, you must have a Georgia Futures funding application on file or met with your dual enrollment coordinator to establish your paying for classes yourself. Anytime that you add or drop classes, you'll do that through your dual enrollment coordinator. This is how we ensure that you're taking approved classes that have been given permission by your high school counselor and are on track to complete your credential. This process is the same if you're taking classes at a GPTC campus, through GPTC online, or at a participating high school. Now a few more things before we wrap up. At the college level, Students who receive accommodations inside or out of the classroom must self-identify with our special services office. Your IEP or 504 plan or any other arrangement that you have in place to establish accommodations with your high school do not automatically transfer to the college. If you do not register with our offices, your accommodations will not be in place. Please be advised, services begin once all documentation is submitted and complete, and services are not retroactive. Meaning, if for whatever reason you do not register with special services at the start of the term, but decide later to turn in paperwork, you cannot go back to the assignments that have already happened to do makeup work. So if you are a student with an IEP or 504 plan, please make note of Ms. Greenwood's contact information. When you enroll in dual enrollment, you have access to all of the campus amenities and services. This includes using the GPTC library, both on campus and through the online database, receiving textbook materials from the GPTC bookstore, our tutoring, or tutoring and academic assistance in the success centers, and participating in student clubs, activities, and campus events that happen throughout the year. These are just a few examples of the opportunities available to you as a GPTC student and I encourage you while enrolled to participate in as many things as possible. Now what we've talked about today and much more is written in our student handbook and the college catalog. These two items are found on the college website and are important tools as you navigate the dual enrollment program. Please take time and review these documents. Consider them to be the contract between the college and the student and they outline your rights and responsibilities. Also, even though you're still enrolled in high school, you are considered college students. There is a law called FERPA that quite simply puts restrictions on what information we can share with anyone other than the student or high school partners. This means that if your parent or guardian calls and asks what your grades are or wants a copy of your schedule, we cannot share that information. There is a FERPA waiver that's on the GPTC website that students can complete to give access to the student record. So students, if you want your parent or guardian to be able to call the college and ask questions, please fill out that FERPA form. The most important tip for success is making sure you're in the right mindset. This is college. So even though you're taking this class while in high school, there is an ex expectation that you treat these like the college classes they are. Know what classes you're taking especially since there's a limit on how much funding you can receive for dual enrollment, it's important that you're picking classes that are going to benefit you, both now while in high school and as you continue on towards a college credential. As you're going through the program, ask for help. If you're unsure on any topic, reach out to a college staff member, either the dual enrollment office or once enrolled in classes, communicate with your instructor. We cannot help you if we do not know that you need that help. Make sure you're staying on track with your schedule. If you're taking a heavy load at high school or involved in after school activities like work, help out at home, think about how much dual enrollment you can add to your plate. Overloading and not doing well is not gonna help you in the long run. Make sure you keep track of dates and deadlines, especially as the college calendar may be different from what your high school calendar is. Focus on your study habits. 
you cannot wing it in college and then expect to get makeup work or let an instructor turn in something after the deadline. And make sure you stay tuned into what is happening. Keep an eye out on the GPTC calendar. Follow your college email for important announcements. It's important that you take an active involvement in your college work so that you can get all of the benefit from the program that you can. I want to thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions about what you heard here, or if you want to get started on the application process, please contact the dual enrollment office at dualenrollment at gptc.edu. We look forward to seeing you on campus next semester.